dear third semester ECE stream students I welcome you all into my channel hope you are all doing well and I hope your external examinations for your practicals are also going well over there right once you finish the practical examinations try to practice for the mathematics subject as much as possible as later on it becomes the casualty subject for the student once a student is getting backlog in mathematics series right so today I am with your uh, first subject of third semester that is mathematics uh, BMAT EC301 or BEC301 is it subject code and let me discuss over here the passing strategy for this particular subject first of all we have here model fifth which is easier one that is why I am considering this as passing module it is curve fitting in which we have five concepts first of all we have a straight line concept fit a straight line of the form y is equal to ax plus b to the following data so data will be given like this one x values will be given y values will be given what you have to do you have to form a straight line equation y in the form of y is equal to x plus b also I have solved these varieties of problems you can go through my playlist problem solving videos are available and if you want to refer previous year question papers for practicing I already uploaded all previous year question papers on my Instagram account so you can also check that link in the description box so this is the straight line problem in which you have to cover at least three to four problems and next we have fit a parabola y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c in least square sense to the data so data will be somehow given like this one right so what you have to do you have to fit a parabola curve on this concept also you have to focus on three to four problems in order to grab the concept next we have uh, y is equal to ax days power b this is the power curve again seven marks question so, so on these three topics you should practice three three problems so that you can grab 14 marks from these three concepts so next two concepts we are having here rank correlation coefficient and correlation and lines of regressions which are very simpler ones and also practice five problems from each of these concepts once you go through these concepts by, by solving varieties of problems you can easily grab 20 marks from this particular module as it is simpler as compared to other modules so next passing module we have here Fourier series in which you have to go through one simple concept that is seven marks obtain the Fourier series of y up to the first harmonics for the given data so data will be given what you have to do is you have to obtain Fourier series of first harmonics also problem solving videos are available make sure you will visit them try to understand the concept then try to solve questions from previous year question papers right next to we have half range sine and cosine series so practice three to four problems from this concept also that is half range sine and cosine series next we have here Fourier series expansion of the period 2 pi that is your intervals 0 to pi and minus pi to pi 0 to L 0 comma 2 pi minus l to l so these intervals will be given you have to expand the Fourier series right? so from this module it is compulsory to get 20 marks just because most of the students are facing difficulties in next modules that is ordinary differential equation of higher order and next we have Fourier transform right and next we have z transform so those modules are somehow typical to the students that is why I am telling you it's compulsory for the students to get 40 marks from these two modules one is Fourier series and one is curve fitting next passing module we have fourth that is ordinary differential equation of higher order one thing i want to share with you students who are here is uh, that is actually differential equations are not uh, just formulas they help us model circuits and understand how they behave over time especially i'm talking to the ec students there are application part of these differential equations but unfortunately it is very unfortunate uh, in our system that teachers are not telling us the application part of differential equation and similarly Fourier series which we have discussed above it is actually essential for signal processing breaking down signals into simpler components and you have also the subject that is signal processing as I said we don't have such type of a system in which we can learn the application part of these type of topics simply we have to just remember these topics we have to just remember the procedure how to solve the problems and how to ease the examination how to pass the examination that is it right so uh, let's proceed uh, with the ordinary differential equation of higher order that is numericals on first of all you have to focus on Lee Gendry's equation Cauchy's homogeneous most important one and non homogeneous and some questions will be on LC and LCR circuit so these four topics you have to cover from ordinary differential equation of higher order so for these four topics refer three previous year question papers that are enough to tackle your model 4 so if you are unable to get 20 marks from the model 4 at least I am expecting from you students at least you should get 10 to 13 marks from the fourth module I am just taking here the least case that is 10 to 13 marks you should at least get right next we have model 2 that 
that is Fourier transform in which you have to go through these type of questions like find the Fourier transform of f of x is equal to 1 minus mod of x next function is 0 for mod of x is less or equal to 1 mod of x is greater or equal to 1 and next question we are having here obtain the Fourier cosine transform of the function so function will be given you have to obtain Fourier cosine transform these two are simpler ones if you are facing difficulties I am talking about the average students who are not understanding uh, the differentiation part over the years better to go through these three concepts from the module second and taking 10 marks 10 to 13 marks also in this particular module right so next we have module third in which you have to go through z transform so most of the times we is asking these uh, particular questions like sine and theta obtain the z transform for sine and theta cos and theta or sometimes sine hyperbolic and theta cos hyperbolic and theta so this is the six marks question and also you have to go through application of differential equations for this particular topic you should practice three to four problems from previous year question papers right so, so this becomes your passing package for your mathematics subject so first of all it is compulsory to cover model fifth that is curve fitting so surely you should have hold down model fifth in order to get 20 marks next we have four year series from this also you should get 20 marks right so that becomes your 40 then i am taking 13 marks from the model fourth that is your 40 plus 13 that is 53 plus you have to get 13 marks from module second uh, 53 plus 13 is 66 and six marks i am expecting from every students below every students uh, from the module third that is your 66 plus 6 is 72 so in this way only you can pass the mathematics subject so this mathematics is somehow typical than cs stream mathematics and also triple stream mathematics okay so for ec stream students they have to struggle a lot in this particular subject so once you finish your practicals try to start practicing mathematics subject as earlier as possible so this is all about today's video i wish you clear the mathematics in first attempt itself best of luck for your examinations and also share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you